so my name is Katie Benson. I'm a PhD student in the program in molecular medicine at Boston University and I work in Daryl Cotton's lab at the Center for Regenerative Medicine here on the Boston University Medical Campus. Okay, so basically what I'm interested in is trying to understand the signals that regulate lung development. So I'm really interested in the cells that make up your airways. Um, and what I'm trying to understand is basically how these cells decide uh, what to be. So in your airways, there's lots of different types of cells. There's ciliated cells, which help push uh, debris and things that you inhale out of your lungs. There's what we call secretory cells that secrete proteins and things that help to protect your lungs. And there's lots of different types of cells. And what I'm interested in is how these cells decide what to be during development. So I'm from just outside of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, I went to college at Carleton College and I majored in chemistry. After that I decided um, I was more interested in biology, so my mom's a physician, uh, so I've always sort of been interested in medicine. My dad's a chemical engineer, um, so I like to say that I sort of am a perfect blend between them. I study basically medical science, but using a lot of approaches that have to do with trying to understand how things happen or why. Um, so I came to BU because I thought that Boston was going to be an amazing place to study science. There's a lot of opportunities here. So after coming to BU, I met with Daryl and decided to join his lab because I was excited about the research here and his vision and you know the potential for having him as a mentor for the work I wanted to do. Every day is very different from the next. I do all sorts of things, so some of my time I just spend planning experiments, thinking of ideas, you know, reading papers. And then of course a lot of it is, you know, technically performing the experiments. So we spend a lot of time doing cell culture, um, growing cells. They're, the cells that we work with are very challenging to work with, uh, so they require a lot of daily maintenance and care, so I do a lot of that. A lot of it is, um, you know, running analysis or analyzing data. I guess in the grand scheme of science, like the life of a PhD student or their time in the lab is very short, you know, I'll be here for three or maybe four years. So for me, I think if I can increase the, the knowledge that exists in the world about how airways are formed, then I will be very happy. You know, it sounds sort of minor, but I think if I do that and then the person next to me does a little bit more, and the person, you know, after me does a little bit more, and people before me have built this, the things that we know up to this point, then it all can combine together to get to, I guess, the, the middling goal, which for me is really being able to take these pluripotent stem cells and turn them into lung cells. And I think one of the things that we can hopefully do is once we get better at it and we understand the cells more, we could actually take cells from, for instance, a person with cystic fibrosis or with another disease where they have, you know, a, a little genetic problem that causes this huge disease and we can actually take their cells, take them in our lab, turn them into lung cells, and now all of a sudden we have this disease that this person has in a dish in our incubator. And then what we can do is we can say, okay, well we have 300 drugs that might treat this disease. Let's add them to these cells and see if we can measure any improvement in you know, our disease in a dish. If now we can have this fixed disease in a dish, maybe these drugs, the same drug would help this person and you know there have been some small stories of this already happening so I think that that's actually not that far in the future that that would be possible. We can take cells from a patient and use them to learn enough about the patient's disease to actually find a treatment for them. You know if you are excited about the world around you or you're curious about things or you like to solve problems or even questions like that is Basically that job exists, <laughs> it's what I do every day. I mean, I think when I was in high school, I didn't really know what you know scientists did, and sure, it's like, you, you know there are scientists that exist, but you take science classes. It's not like taking a science class. It's not like memorizing the periodic table. That's not really you know, what I do every day. What I do is ask questions and try to figure out the answers and try to learn something about the world. So I think you know, if that's what you're excited about, you, know, you could do it. It's great.